time for Cousins Conversation. <laughs> oh, welcome! Cousins Conversation is 6.30 p.m. Eastern. We do this Friday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern. We change the time. Let me know. Do y'all like that introduction? <laughs> we might have to start doing that as an introduction. <laughs> y'all don't laugh at my introduction. Was that too dramatic for a Friday? I don't know. Let me know. Hello, Toy. Hi. Did you see my introduction? It was so dramatic. I got the tip in. I heard that you were saying that you had an introduction. I was like, oh, I want to see it. You said it was dramatic. I said, it's now time for Cousins Conversation. Right. I thought it was too dramatic. No, it was not too dramatic. Right. It's too dramatic. You are your host, Toy Powell and Tahir, right? <laughs> so hi everyone i'm tahir Coleman register i'm the owner of the black media and i'm also a brand ambassador for donna's recipe and this is i am toy powell i am an artist and author and i'm also a brand ambassador for donna's recipe all right y'all we in here y'all came back hey cousin black barber hey matt diva welcome back king because welcome back hi welcome back Archives 27. Hey, sexy human being. Hey, Mo. <laughs> hey, y'all. So, wait, okay, let me know if you can hear me and let me know if you can see me, okay? Me and Toy. Let me know if you can hear us. Let me know if you can see us. Hey, from Jamaica. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> How can I become a brand ambassador? Y'all have fun. Thank you. We do have a lot of fun. I'm not sure if the brand ambassadorship is open. They just added some new ones. However, oftentimes, just making videos of you using the product and talking about how you love the products will get their attention, tagging down this recipe, mm -hmm. etc. Yes. So Here, y'all, cousins, listen, it has been a day. I'm just glad I made it. The hair is not done. I'm not done with my makeup. I'm having a little emergency right now, so y'all gonna finish watching me get <laughs> Okay, because when I'm ready to fresh up the hair, I got something to show y'all. I'm gonna be using the whipped vanilla cream, uh, um, sorry, curl enhancing gel to slick it back. I'm gonna be doing some baby hairs with the edges, and I've got these cute little flowers to throw in my hair. I did a Tuesday tutorial with Donna's recipe this past Tuesday, and I showed how um, I came up with that style on the fly. So it is on the social media page if you want to go back and check it out. But I figured let's just bring it back and watch, and y'all can see how I refresh it. <laughs> Hello. Yes. So for those of you who don't know, Tuesday tutorials is a thing uh, that we do now on Donna's Recipe, where almost every Tuesday, Day, we have a brand ambassador to come on and show you how to use the products, how to properly use the products, how to what to watch out for, what to look for, but also how you could style your hair with the products as well. Okay, so uh, that happens on Tuesdays, Tuesday tutorials. Okay, now I saw yeah. someone who said they were from Australia in here. Welcome! Oh my gosh, down under. Um, and then we saw someone. I think said Memphis. Where was that? No. Um, Love the gel. Welcome, Memphis, Tennessee. Yep. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome. Hello. Tab Time fan page says, I finally met Mrs. Tab in Chicago. Oh, good for you. That's great. Can we try this? Oh, oh let's try. Y'all, we, we, <laughs> the hair was recently, and it worked for him on his, and it's not working for us, though. So I'm going to stop because I don't want to keep looking ridiculous. Like, look at these old people. <laughs> It's just, it's, it's not working. It's not working. Y'all, listen, for those of you who don't know, Cousins Conversation is what we do Friday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern. And what we do is we bring you into the live and we chat with you all. And then we give you guys products so that you can get products for free. That way you can sample them, test them out, have fun with them, and really truly enjoy you know, your Friday with us just for a little while, just to just to have conversation with us. And we bring up different hot topics. And like I said, we play some trivia sometimes that way you can win some prizes. But even if you just join in and talk to us, we're going to give you, okay? 
some products. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so, what you need to do is tell a friend, okay? Black Friday is around the corner, y'all. So, tell a friend. <laughs> but, okay, so we're going to get into the first topic. And we don't want you to be shy, okay? We want you to join in live. You can press the button right there next to the comment section. It has a plus sign inside of it, and it looks like a little video. And you can join in and, and, and participate in the conversation with us, okay? And so the first topic is when, and this is a serious one, because we, we understand that not everybody, that's, that a lot of people dealt with some struggles, you know? So when was the first time that you fell in love with your hair or adversely didn't love your hair at all? Mm -hmm. so we would like for y'all to join in. When was the first time so if you could write that in the caption, I can, um, yeah. in the comments, I can pin it for you. Yeah. When was the first time that you fell in love with your hair? Or are you still on that journey? I would love for someone to come in and share their story. This is because of the conversation. This is what we're here for. Hi, Shantae. Welcome. That's a brand ambassador, Hi, too. Sometimes, sometimes you'll see Shantae with uh, me or Angel. So... When did you first fall in love with your hair? I would love for y'all to send a request in and let me know. We got a request? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to accept this request here. Let okay. me know you type it. Okay. I did. Just did it. Got it. Hello. Hello. Hey. What's your name? Thank you for joining me. Where are you calling? No problem. Say it again. I didn't hear you. I said, what's your name from where you call her? Um, Dorothy Van Dusen, and I'm calling from Memphis, Tennessee. Hi, Dorothy. Dorothy. You've joined before, right? Yes, I remember I, your face. I have. When did you first fall in love with your hair? Uh, when I was 16, because mm -hmm. my mom was like, I could do it myself. Oh. <laughs> so she let you do your hair yourself at 16? Yeah. Uh, until it started falling out, and then she was like, uh, you happy now? I got to start all over. <laughs> and did you struggle after that with loving your hair at any point in time? Um, yeah, cause it, you know, broke off pretty bad. And I was just like, what did I do? Like, or what didn't I do? How mm -hmm. was my mom always keeping my hair so strong and healthy? And I thought I knew what I was doing. And I was like, jokes on me, you don't. <laughs> Mm. So when did you go? So when did you? When did you feel like okay? Now I can manage my own hair. I have control over it. I know what to do now. Um, probably when I was a senior in high school, because my mom mm -hmm. stayed on me so much after that to get it, you know, to get me in tune with what I needed to do to like take care of it and keep it up and keep it beautiful. So I just kept going after that. Nice. Tried a couple of different styles. styles. Mm -hmm. What were some of your favorite styles that you did? Um, I think when I got a curl, I think, and I thought I was all that, and I had got a curl. And then I went and got it dyed, and I really thought I was doing something. And okay. then the lady that I got it at the shop that I got it done at, she clearly didn't know what she was doing, and was in, I'll say, a month it started breaking off and falling out again so i just oh, wow. like, oh this you can't be real yeah i was just going to say the same thing so you you've gone on a hair journey <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but i have wonderful though but then after that i was like you know what i'm gonna stop fooling around i'm not gonna let other people get into my hair and then Everything was flowing. Everything was doing well. And then I had a stroke. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And then after that, um, with me having a stroke and not being able to do it like I really needed to, uh, my son suggested that I go with locks. So he was like, why don't you just do that? Then you don't have to worry about, you know, hair breakage and so forth and so on. So I went with that and here I am. They're beautiful. <laughs> All locked up. They're beautiful. How long oh, have you wow. been locked up? <laughs> wow. How long have you had locks? Uh, I 
started growing them in like 2014. Oh, okay. They're beautiful. Yeah. Thank They're you, beautiful. Thank and you. how does the Dunn recipe um, work with your hair with oh. the locks? Wow, it's awesome. Um, I'm always getting compliments on my hair smelling like sweet potato pie. But, um, I really love it. It just makes my hair feel good. Mm -hmm. You know, and I feel good about my hair feeling all nice and soft. And so now I use it on my granddaughter and she has locks, just started her locks as well. So we just love all of her products. They're just awesome. Wow. Thank you so much for so sharing. It's kind of it. like turning into a family affair because my daughter uses it. And now we're working on my son to try to get him incorporated into it. So, and everybody will just use Donna's. Hi. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Dorothy. Where are you from again, Ms. Dorothy? Uh, Memphis, Tennessee. That's right. Well, thank you so much, Miss Dorothy, and thank you for constantly being uh, a supporter of uh, Cousin Conversation. We appreciate you. Appreciate you so much, yeah. and I appreciate you guys as well. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. All right, have, have a great one. Love okay. you guys. You too. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, Miss Dorothy, you got to press that X at the top right of your screen. Okay, we have some comments in here. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all. Thank y'all for joining. Don't be afraid, okay. afraid to join the live, guys. I see you writing in the comments. Don't be afraid to come in and join. Once you join, we'll, we'll talk with you. If you've never joined before, then we are definitely going to send you uh, some product from Donna's Recipe, the Donna Re Donna's Recipe line, because that's what we do here. This is what Cousins, Cousins Conversation is about. We gift you for coming in and having conversations with us. So don't be scared. We want y'all to try this stuff, okay? Yes. What are they saying? So before, before we get into the um the next uh, person that we're going to bring in, I just want to go through some of the comments. Angel's Blessed Life says, 2013, I cut all my hair off at 43. Didn't even know the texture of my hair. Beautiful curls. Oh, oh wow. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. 43. Wow. Wow. Was there a reason why you cut all your hair off at 43? Was 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 it just like you just wanted to try something different or was there another reason, if you don't mind sharing? Yeah. Um, and if you I don't mind, you can join in, in the live, send a request in and um, share your story with us. We would love to hear. Yes, definitely. I'm the Kia says about a year ago when I learned how to keep it moisturized. Okay, I'm the Kia. So how did so you learn? Reason how to keep your hair moisturized and um was donna's recipe part of the part of the routine <laughs> tap time fan page says um i started to love my hair since a young age from my mom always rocking natural and afro i got even more excited when i saw mrs tab and the donna's recipe i started not to like my hair as much when okay okay i think there was like a um it cut off a little bit um and little man's mama says i've always loved my hair but when i started chemo i had to shave it okay so sorry to hear that but i'm glad that you um can you share your your hair journey if you would like if you don't it's, it's totally okay yes yeah, so for those of you who don't know you can request to join live there's a button right next to the comment section where you're about to type at Right next to it, it should be a plus sign and a video box. You can press that, send a request, and join live. I would love to hear your story, mm -hmm. uh, any of you, but little man's mom, I would love to hear your story and just, you know, talk us through that and, and what that looks like and, and how you came from that. Yeah. So um, before we get into the next, like, um, uh, folks joining in, I want to start my hair because I know we only have a little bit of time. So y'all, um, just as a quick recap, this Tuesday, I did a Tuesday tutorial and I showed the cousins how I just like came up with the hair, this hairstyle on the fly and I had these flowers in them. So I'm going to refresh my hair using the Donna's Recipe Whipped Vanilla Cream Curl Enhancing Gel and also the Whipped Vanilla Cream Edge Gel. Um, and also I'm going to apply these flowers. So I'm going to do that in the background while we're chatting. Okay, so I'm going to bring in Miss uh, Miss Karen to tell her story. I think she spoke before, actually, but this is a different topic. Hey, hey y'all. How y'all doing? Hello. We're doing great. 
Is okay. So, what's your name for where you call on? Okay, so my name is Karen uh, Cyphers, and I am calling from Austin, Texas. Okay, Miss Karen, did you join before? I feel like you did. I did, and I was completely bald when I joined the last time. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh, you were. Look at his hair. 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 Like, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's great I love her. her. Thank you. Yes, it was completely bald. I think the the time that I had joined, um, and I've been taking the biotin. Uh, mm. I've been also doing the the oil mm. as as mm. Uh, for my the hair. hair oil. Uh, yes, and mm. then I just recently started doing because it's been growing so much that mm. I almost can't control it. Um, but I've been using the gel. And the moose, your girl is cute now. Your girl, you was cute then. Okay, you were cute then. So, okay, so the question, the question on hands is, when was the first time you fell in love with your hair? Okay, so I've always loved my hair. So it's it was you know whenever we said it was naturally curly back then, my hair was has always been naturally curly. Uh, so I've always loved it. I've always received compliments from everyone about, you know, how how they thought my hair was pretty. Uh, I thought my hair was beautiful uh, then. Um, and then when I shaved it, like that, that probably was one of the hardest things um, when I had to start chemo was the fact that I actually had to shave all of my hair off. And I think that was maybe about about the fourth chemo treatment that I had my hair started coming out and then about the fifth one it was coming out in clumps and it was coming out to a point where yeah I couldn't even get my hand through my hair that's how bad it was and so it was oh that a point where, you know what I'm gonna need to go ahead and just shave it off mm -hmm. and so I shaved it um that was probably last year September uh -huh. um and then by the time my last chemo treatment was in November of last year and then um, in December like I want to say I was completely bald like nothing on my head I had no eyelashes I had no eyebrows nothing so in January I was look like a like an egg basically or I, I, I used to tell my friends I was like a, a, a hairless cat that I had um. nothing, nothing whatsoever but probably about um, a month later uh, I was approved from my oncologist to go ahead and start taking the, the biotin gummies. And so I started the, the biotin gummies in February. And from that point on, that's all I was using was the, the biotin and then the hair oil. And so, yeah, it's, it's wow. really, yeah, I've been really, really going out. Since incredible. Then. Beautiful. Yeah. So much for incredible. Story. That was incredible. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Your hair looks amazing. And yeah for everything that you've been through like i'm just so glad that you're 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 feeling healthy and you're you're oh, coming yeah. through god is good right. god is yes. so good yes. yes thank you so much god is so good mm -hmm. and your hair looks mm -hmm. great i remembered you from the last time when you were talking about it because when you said that you you had to shave it for chemo i was like i remember that story i just didn't realize how much time had lapsed because yeah. Oh Lord, it's already next year. Yeah. I cannot believe it's 2025 <laughs> already. You blink and it's just the time just goes. <laughs> but the fact that the products are actually working, because that's what I was going to ask you actually when I read the comment in the comment section. Um, because sometimes when people go through chemo and things like that, they're often looking for ways to grow their hair and to uh, strengthen their hair again uh, once they lose it, whether through chemo or whether through shaving it so that they don't have spotting, etc. Uh, through chemo and so the fact that you share that your experience um was triumphant in that you were able to use the biotin gummies you were able to use the hair and strength oil and that was effective enough for you to grow from from shaved head to what you have right now in a short amount of time is in Incredible. incredible and uh, we thank you so much for for sharing that story and sharing your journey because that's not that's not an easy one it really isn't and you seem so so joyful and I am. Excitement, you know i am I, I don't have nothing to complain of i'm i'm able to get up uh, i'm able to walk around i can breathe so right. yeah I, god Absolutely. is good 
Absolutely. And you made a really great point, and I'm glad that you mentioned it, that um, uh, even after tr um, treatment, that you did have to go and get cleared from your doctor to yeah. use the biotin hair gummies. So that is very important to note, and I'm glad that you shared that with us, Tiff. Yes, because a lot of times, a lot of people don't read the products, and the products do say on the biotin gummies specifically that you consult your physician before you just use them. But also for the hair strength oil, it says to do a, a, a test to, on your skin to make sure that you're not irritated by the 18 um, oils and powders yeah. that we have in there. Plus, we have a nut-free version on DonnaTheRecipe.com exclusively that we sell and for people who are um, allergic to, to nuts. And so the fact that you actually follow through with the with the instructions, but also saw the results of what happens when you do that, yeah. Is is it's just mind blowing. It's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So, Miss Karen. Okay, you said your name was Karen. Miss Karen. Say that again. You said your name was Miss Karen. Uh huh. It's Karen. Mm -hmm. What's your Instagram name? Lil Man's Mama. Oh yes, Lil Man's. And it's like Moma M O M A. Okay. Now. Now, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, make sure you send us your name and your mailing address so that we can send you some products. I'm not sure okay. when the last time we sent you something, but if it lines up, then you'll definitely be getting some products from us again, okay. uh, maybe from the new, maybe from the new line, the new whipped vanilla cream line, since you love that so much. And I, listen, I keep this on Zach, okay. as you can see, it was right here <laughs> <laughs> on my desk. Look, so. look, look, okay. On my desk. Oh my dad. Oh my dad. Look, listen. Oh my dad. Listen, leave oh my dad. Oh my dad. These two right here. <laughs> these two right here. Got me juicy. <laughs> so we appreciate you so much for sharing your story and inspiring us and I'm sure other people too. So thank you. Make sure you thank send you. us your name and your mailing address uh within the All hour. Right. All right. Thank you. Y'all have a nice one. All right, you have a thank great you. Weekend. All right. Yeah. Okay, tell me how I get out. out you of press here. the X button. <laughs> Bye bye. Okay, she got it. Okay. Um, XOXO Sweet Love says, Hey y'all, does the whipped vanilla products have nuts in them? Um the whip the 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 whipped vanilla cream line. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure if it has nuts in them. So what I would suggest you do is to check out the product's ingredients to make sure that you're not allergic to anything that's within the products. From my understanding, there there um it's the 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 base of the products is biotin whipped vanilla cream i mean vanilla and um i'm not seeing specifically on this particular one any nuts but we can ask uh angel or gina we can get a, a little bit more specific information but if we're not able to get back to you on that then i would suggest you just read the actual ingredients of the products just not even for nuts maybe you may be allergic to something else that we're not advertising etc and so you just want to always be careful and make sure that you are not allergic to these products, to any products that you use, um, especially if you have uh, allergy sensitivities, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, but okay, so Miss Karen, that was so good. I'm, I'm still like... <laughs> I, I know. In the spirit from what Miss Karen just <laughs> said. I know. Because it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. And it's so mm -hmm. joyous to see somebody who has gone through something so traumatic like that be so spiritual. And, and and joyful and things like that. It really puts things into perspective. So, Miss Toy, <laughs> update us. What part of this? What part of the? Uh, okay. What part of the redoing uh, I, I are you on? I just got some baby hairs because I was so I was so engaged in this in um Miss Karen's story that I just couldn't do anything. Like I didn't even want to be sitting here brushing my hair while she was speaking because like one rude and two like I just wanted to really like give her my attention because that was such a powerful. And a beautiful story. So we're doing the baby hairs right oh. now. Now okay, you're doing the baby hairs right now. You're gonna be using the edge control from the new line. Yeah. I will be using this here. Yep, and all of the all of the products, all of the products on the new line has uh biotin in it. So it's also gonna be strengthening as well as vanilla, which helps soothe the hair and promotes hair growth. So Absolutely. The new products are incredible. Real quick about Tuesday, our Tuesday tutorials. Can we share with the cousins one more time what that is? Absolutely. Absolutely. So Tuesday tutorials, we that's something new we started here at Donna's Recipe, where on Tuesdays, a brand ambassador will do a tutorial. They'll show you how to use the products, but also how to style, possibly style the products, something that you can 
possibly recreate yourself? Because a lot of times people we get a lot of questions like, what combinations should we use? Should we use a cream with the with the gel? Should we use the shampoo with the you know? And so that's what Tuesday tutorials is about. We we actually do tutorials on how to use the products, but also what what type of styles you can do it with. And as you can see, Miss Toy is um, recreating what she did onto her Tuesday tutorial, which was a beautiful, was it fall look, winter look? Yes. So to me, it was just like, I just, you know, I love paint, right? So I just felt like flowers in any season is just like really cool. Um, I just love flowers because it just, it, it makes me feel good. And it just reminds me of just like the beauty of nature. So um, this Tuesday, I did the style, right? I haven't taken it down. So what I'm doing is refreshing it. And I just used the curl enhancing gel. And now I'm using um, what Tahir mentioned, the edge gel to just like finish off the look. And then I'm going to start adding the flowers. Um, but what I realized on Tuesday, so my hair was straight. It was stretched, right? I had had it pressed um, a, couple, a week ago. And then I wanted to do something new. So I used the curl enhancing gel on my straight hair and to here you would think that i thought that it was going to curl up like yours like fresh out the shower i thought that the curls were going to get tight like it was really water-based but all it did was just like enhance that little body wave i had going on because i always twist up my hair in the back and i put it in the bonnet go to sleep and then when i wake up in the morning it has like a little a little curl wave when it's straight all it did was just make that wave even more defined. It didn't like curl it up like what water would do with some of the old. It didn't shrink it up. Exactly. It didn't even ch change the texture of it. As you can see, like it's still like straight. And mm -hmm. I used it on each piece. I love that. I that. The style you came up with is so dope too. I'm never doing styles. I really just, this is it. You know, <laughs> I got a little uh, hairband on. That's the. Love it. That's it. That's what I really do. But I love that you could do styles. You know, women get away with a lot more, you know. Also, I don't have to wear with all I don't have the patience to be doing that mess. And then how am I gonna go to sleep? Not that mess. <sighs> how am I gonna go to sleep? That's the problem. I'll be trying to I'll be doing a style and then I'll be like trying to get in the bed and go to sleep comfortably. And I'll be like, this is I, you know what take I take You're the right. style right on outside right. and be You're comfortable. Right. Women be sleeping like <laughs> to make sure they don't mess up their style. Like, no, I'm not, I, I, I see all in, in the not, pillows and things. Like, like, I, can't, I can't get into all of that. I was like, <laughs> I can't get into all of that. But someone was uh, leaving comments. What are they saying? Okay, I am um, Delia Janie May 2.0 says, The first time I absolutely fell in love with my hair was the conception Donna's recipe when it hit this, when it hit the shelf. Oh, oh I love it. Oh, someone else earlier had mentioned um, uh, that they that when they started uh, using Donna's recipe, that's when they fell in love with their hair. I, Who was that? I love still that. Here? I, I love that. Was all the way up there. Uh, I was here when you first started styling your hair, but I had to leave, so I didn't see the outcome. Did you decide to do the strands? I did. Okay. Yes. So. These are in two ponytails, right? And I took, oh, the strands, like leaving some strands out. Okay, so let me let me recap. Two ponytails, each piece I twisted up in two strands. And then I tried to leave out some pieces to make it like interesting. But I ended up just tucking those loose strands inside. And then I started adding all the flowers. So that's what I'm doing. I'm refreshing the style from Tuesday. And I'm going to show y'all how I added these flowers so that, you know, it makes it an interesting uh, look. If you're inspired by it, please feel free to try it. Okay. okay. So before we wrap up this topic, is, does anybody else want to join in live with us to win you some free product, but also to share your story on when was the first time you fell in love with your hair? If not, then I'll share my first time and then Toy can share her first time. Uh, but I'll wait a few seconds just to see if anybody else wants to request to come live um, so they can share their story of when was the first time you fell in love with your hair, or if you felt if you didn't fall in love with your hair, you still don't fall if you're still not in love with your hair. What does that look like? What does that sound like? Why is that? You know, all of those questions. Because again, cousins conversation is really about getting to know you all. It's about starting conversations at a, at a, at a high level to make sure that we tap in with the community. You know, a lot of times 
companies don't tap in. They don't, they don't care. They just really care about the bottom line. And while the bottom line is important, so is this. Yes. Absolutely. So is this. And you are killing this, uh, these uh, edges, honey. I I always say I've been doing this since I was in middle school. But one thing I did um, mention on the the Tuesday tutorial too is like when when people I feel like everyone has their own signature baby hair style look if they do it right because everyone's hair grows in their own specific direction like no one's hair pattern is the same. Mm -hmm. So what I usually do is like I'll start from over here sometimes and then I'll just kind of like I use the end of the cone. And it kind of like helps to guide and all those loose strands that didn't really have the product kind of get swept up in in that line there. Right. You could use the brush to kind of like make it, you know, really like, you know, flat like that. But I tend to like to connect it a bit. You are killing it. So we got somebody who's requesting in to join in on this conversation. Cool. So we're going to add them. I can't wait to talk to the guys. Hello. Hello. Hey. What's your name from where you calling? I'm Delia. I'm the one that uh you just responded to the comment that I made. But it's my name is pronounced Delia. Delia from where? Yeah. Oh, I said Delia. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I get that a lot. Delia. Delia, yeah, it's, Delia where you from? I'm I'm originally from California, but uh, due to the pandemic, I'm now in Tennessee. Okay. okay. Tennessee. Have you ever joined the live before? I joined the live with Gina and Terry. Okay, so this is your first time doing Cousin Conversation. Welcome. Well, yes. Welcome. Kind of like a second, because I was here for a little bit. Um, what was it, Tuesday, when, um, I'm sorry, I, I don't forgot your name, but when she was doing her hair, so I was I was online for a little bit to well, watch is, that. That was my so I was saying this is your first time on Cousins Conversation on Friday. So oh. you never did you never did you never did Cousins Conversation before. Oh yeah yeah yeah. This is my first time. Well, yes. But that's cool. Well, that's we are I'm, I'm, today. That yes, was really we cool. are so yeah. we are so grateful that you came here because uh, you've been clearly a supporter. You did the Terry. You did a toy. You you here with us. Like we love that. And um, I love Ms. that. Miss Angel says she's. Always wanted hair like that. I'm she's loving your fro, man. Well, it's right now it's looking kind of crazy because it rained today, so I got caught in the rain. But this is what it looked like when it gets wet. I love it. I thought that was a style. It's a beautiful like, picture. Yeah, this, no. is, this is Donna's recipe. Wow, <laughs> which you use today, or if you used it today to get the style? Say that one more time. Which products did you use to to get your style? Today? Hey, I did the cream. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, the extra creamy hair. I keep, I keep some cream on deck. Right, for real. I got like three or four of it, but I knew that it was gonna. Um, yep, yep, yep. That looked like my. Uh, right. That looked like my. My other one in the closet. My other full one is in the closet because this is always done. <laughs> exactly. But I knew it was gonna be damp today because usually when it gets damp, it does this. It kind of shrinks up, and I really can't do much. But it's actually. Full. Mm. It's like a Angela Davis type mm. situation. Yeah. Real full. So, so, when it so when was the first time you fell in love with your hair? When that is because I've been natural since 2010, uh -huh. but I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. Like it would either like knot up my hair, or I mean, it just wasn't working out. It was just tangling, and I was just really having a difficult time. With it. it wasn't looking like this. It was looking real matted and mm -hmm. just not taking care of it. But I was trying to take care of it. I couldn't find the right product. So when Tabitha Brown started coming out, I was watching her hair and I was like, I think we have similar texture. Right. So I decided, to, yeah, I decided to give it a shot. So I, I gave it a shot. I did the um, shampoo and conditioner first and it was a wrap. It was a wrap. <laughs> It was a wrap. Oh, so you said this is this is the one. Yeah. So I have every I can use everything except the um the drip or the oil that you put on your scalp. It's something the in there. Oil. Yeah, it's it's a oil, it's a particular oil in there that doesn't agree with my texture, okay. but that's the only thing that I cannot use. And I just went and got the the vanilla whip. 
So I put that on my hair. Cream. The yeah. Yeah. I went and got that. So that works. And I was just like, okay. And I even do the the edge because when it gets wet, it gets all beady and it looks funny. Mm -hmm. And like the edge it really helps. It gives it a defined look and it doesn't look like uncombed or whatnot. So how many years do you think you'll say that is that you've been in love with your hair since you've been using Donna's recipe? When did she come out? Oh, a year or two ago? Uh, 2020. So, I yep. Yeah. Four, is it 2020? I believe so. Yep, so four years. <laughs> wow. But I've, natural, but I've been natural, what, since 2010. So I've been natural like 14 years. Right. But yes, yeah. I'm just now finding a product. Next. Wow. See, I, I also had that same conversation on Tuesday. I don't know if you were on when I mentioned that, how my hair journey has also been very difficult. And it wasn't until I found Donna's recipe that I was able to really like fall in love with the product in my hair because I needed something with slip. I couldn't have it being in the shower. It would get so tangled and so matted and knotted and it felt like brillo like and i would be in the shower for almost two hours just trying to get my hair un you know untangled and it was crazy mm -hmm. and now it cut my hair my shower time in half man what it used to take me like three days to do my hair i had to like wash it <sighs> and then wash it god i would cry because i was like oh, oh my god this gonna take forever <laughs> yeah and then like Trying to dry it because I have the 4C. Like my hair is is it's a lot. Like I said, it's it's fuller than this, and it's a lot. And when it gets wet, I I would have a time. I went through too many dryers trying to dry. It was oh, yeah. it, <laughs> it was a lot. I used to always keep it like pulled and put little snaps in it, just anything to not have to deal with it. Right. Mm -hmm. But now. Yeah, now with Donna's recipe, like I get a lot of comments at work too. They're like, "You did something different to your hair," and I was like, "Yeah, I try to try to," and you know, and so I love it. I I absolutely, it's no turning back. It's it's none. And when she, right. she the same way. <laughs> I said the same thing. It's like, oh, see, she listening because that's what I need right up in here. Yeah, for I real. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's why she has the brand ambassadors. And that's why she has, that's why they have, Miss Gina and Miss Tab have the brand ambassadors. That's why they have Cousins Conversation so that we can yeah. literally talk to y'all and like literally get to understand what y'all like, what y'all don't like, what works, what doesn't work. And like you said, we listen. And I we listen. And the brand ambassadors are also the users of the product because we love the product, not because we brand ambassadors, yeah. but because we love the product. And so when, when, when companies look for for people who already love the products, you already know they already dealing with a different type of, you know, a higher echelon yeah. of, of professionalism yeah. because a lot of companies don't, won't even care that you love the product or not. They'll just do whatever to make sure they get money. But they actually found people who already love the product and they said, would you like to be a brand ambassador that type of thing? So yeah. I love yeah. that for you. That's why I started following. Um, I started doing the live when I got the notifications. When I would get the notifications, I would just hit right on it. Because I, I absolutely love that aspect. I love that you guys um, do the product. I love that, you know, just Tabitha Brown just advocates, you know, and then she uses the product as well on her hair, yes. you know, like her style of hair. And then I love the fact that I also love that it's all inclusive. Like it's not just for African Americans. It's it's for all hair. All and hair I, types, yeah. Great. Thank you. Yeah, I absolutely love that. Like that, that was... That was the the number one. I have to say that was the number one that pulled me in. I was just like, yes, because it seemed like in some African American products, not all, but it seemed like in some African American products, they just kind of overdo, and you know, because everybody don't have the same type hair. So it right. was it was almost like it was almost like an assumption that all black people <laughs> have like this type of hair. Touch your hair, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So that's what I. That's what I. That was what drew me in. I was like, I have to try this. I have to try it. And I didn't even, I didn't even like go to somebody else and was like, can I try it? Like I spent money. I spent full money on it. And I was just like, cause I wanted to invest as well. I was just like, you know what? If it doesn't work, but, but I just, I wanted to invest. And yeah. so, um, yeah, I started out with the, with the lotion, with the um, shampoo and conditioner. Then I fell in love with that. I went right back the next day yep. and got everything. everything. <laughs> I did too. I was like, I need all the things. 
if these two were great, then I want to want I want to know how these other ones work. And, and then I love at night mm -hmm. hair. That's why I like have these sections because I plait my hair at night. So I I wanted something at night that would like help keep my plaits. And yeah. so a lot of times, mm -hmm, and a lot of times I don't comb my hair. I literally just take the plaits out and it will do its thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because yeah. mm -hmm. I, I keep my hair in two strands, twist. usually like I obviously Tuesday, right? Two to Tuesday. But usually once I wash my hair on a Sunday, I put three uh twists in my hair after I put all the products in and I'll leave it like that for the whole week until Saturday when I feel like I want to go outside and be cute. I even show up to work like that. I just pull the twist back in a ponytail because don't judge me. I'm here to make my money. I'm not here to be cute for you. But on Saturday, Sunday, I'll be cute. I'm, and the curls are popping, right? I'm with you. And I love the fact that they have a the, that crown act, that crown, that care crown act. Because I'm like, man, I can rock with her style. Exactly. Judge me not. Okay. Because yes. it's an like, angle. That's what I do. Like, like I would take the plaits out and just and just let it be. And that's when I get the most compliments, which crack me up. I'm like, I didn't comb my hair today. And they're like, you're lying. I'm like, no, can you see the parts? Like, I did not comb my hair today. And, that, that, and you so know what? You said that. It's funny you said that because I literally, even this style, this is three days. I've not crazy. touched it. Yeah. I've not touched it at all. In the, so in the front, good. like just right here, like these little pieces, I put some, um, I put some of the curl enhancing gel. Mm -hmm. Just because the front of my head don't never curl. Yeah, but the rest juicy. of this Sylvester is juicy. Sylvester feels like he's got a fresh wash. It no. Looked, it looked like I just did something to this. It, I did not. It do. And it's been in it's been in a top bun without a bonnet for three days. That's crazy. Again, a top bun without a bonnet. I don't have no silk pillows because that's too it's too hot for that. I don't do none of that. And still, it, it, like, the moisture, the retention, you know? Now, imagine if I actually follow through with, like, the practices I'm supposed to. <laughs> It'll probably be even better. But anyway, yeah. I, I'm not doing right. all that. But right, right, right. it works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what I love. Because if you hadn't told me, I would have never known. And, like, if it hadn't been for the, the rain, like, you guys would have been able to see the definition of it. But... I love that I can just unplat it and just go about my day. Like, especially when I'm in a hurry, I literally just put my fingers in my hair and, yeah. you know, I just do like mm -hmm. It looks thick as ever, but with Donna's recipe, it is super, super soft. So and soft. because it got. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't really know that I had soft texture hair. I didn't even know that that was the texture of my hair because I've always been dealing with the thickness and just mm -hmm. the coarseness. But with Donna's recipe, I'm just like, oh my goodness! And I have, I didn't even know my pattern. Not, I didn't know anything right. I, until I found Donna's recipe and discovered a whole new world of hair. I love that, Miss Delia. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you send Donna's recipe a direct message with your name and your mailing address, and hopefully, we'll be able to get you some products. Okay. Cool deal. Cool deal. Still appreciate it. Appreciate uh -huh. it. Make sure, make sure you do it within the hour, okay? Okay. 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 Thank I will. Thank you so much, Miss Delia, for coming in and sharing your story. And I love that you've been a true supporter of Donna's Recipes from the beginning. You are a real one. I appreciate a real it. one. What all do I have to put in the DM? Your name and your mailing address. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank all righty. You, you guys Bye -bye. have a oh, wait, what's your What's your um, Instagram account? I am I'm Delia Janie May. Okay. Two right. I am Delia. Okay, so that's cool. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. We got it. We got you. All bye right. Bye. So we've got some comments in here. Um, so uh, let's see. We're I'm in the case that OMG, so pretty. I love your hair. Um, little man's mama says, I love your hair. The flowers are so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to do a little something, something over here, trying to figure it out. <laughs> Greens at the Chicken Shack says, Hey, y'all. Hey, I, I love that name, <laughs> by the way. Me too, because I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, let's see. Love some Chrissy hair. Good evening, and everyone. So excited to be here. We're so excited that you're here, too, cousin. Lady True says, to hear is such a hair care rebel. <laughs> yes, that's Amy. 
fragile. <laughs> not fragile, not, not using it. I am. I, I just, I, you know, I respect people who really uh, take the time out to do that. Because it's like, when I'm ready to go to sleep, I, I promise you, the first thing I'm not thinking of is uh, putting my hair right. Like, I'm, but I'm going to bed, face in the, face planted right. in the pillow. I'm yeah. not thinking, let me wrap my hair. Right? I'm not doing that. <laughs> I think my style is just about done. I think I've decided to make like a little bouquet on this side. Okay, so what I'm let's see. Yeah. So if you can back up just a little, right, there we go. Boom. All right, let's I'm see. Right, I'll be having to do the same thing. Oh, wow. What I'm trying to do is give it some movement mm -hmm. and structure. Yes, so I'm yes, trying yes, to yes, do yes, like yes, a yes, little, yes, you know? So, and then like the back, y'all don't judge my part because I was rushing on Tuesday. We're judging. But if you going to go out, make sure you wrap the flowers around the back and cover some of those other, like like over here, you know? Cover some of those uh, exposed um, bows and bobby pins and stuff like that like you can play around with that stuff in here too so your whole head will look like an entire bouquet y'all do a snapshot for the cover okay let's pose oh wait when we're hopefully, not, we can hopefully we can find it <laughs> hopefully we'll find a snapshot because if you act up sometimes okay, okay. <laughs> thank y'all it looks so good. I wish I was, again, I wish I was like, had the wherewithal. <laughs> I'm going to a party tomorrow for the first time in like 25 years. And um, I was thinking about putting a red piece of something in my head because it's a black and uh, black and red party. So Ooh. I went, I got black. I mean, I got black down. You know what I'm saying? Poinsettias are season yet. But you know, I, I love poinsettias in hair. Actually, last Christmas, for Donna's recipe, when I first came on board as a brand ambassador, I did an entire Christmas like look. I did AI pictures in the background. I did my own design work, honey, my own artwork. I did my own green screen. I sat in front of my, I had a real green screen, not the one that you hit in the app. And it was so cool. I did like three styles. Wow. I did the one oh. like details with the little tiny red bows. I did another style where the hair was up and it had poinsettias around it. And then I did another style where I did flat twist, left the hair out curly, like how your hairstyle is. And then I put like, like a, a, a ice crown on to kind of like, you know, kind of like the, the three spirits of Christmas. So it was kind of mm -hmm. like, like that was the theme. Wow. First of all, you are very creative. I just want to say, like, goodness, the stuff that you think okay. of they is so incredible. I have a but design also, and, and stuff, yeah, I you know. I put this big old flower, like, in my head, but I don't know. It's like a little dance floor. I might have to, um, I might sweat it out. Mm. What's up? I might have to sweat it out. <laughs> mm. no. I might just leave it curly. That way I could just act up if I feel like it. Come on, uh, come, come through here. Thank you, Taisha. I, I am, I'm the mm -hmm. key. Very, I love that. Thank you. Listen, we're going to do one more topic because we are, we are. Um, time is going, child. Yes. Um, and it was a cool topic. We talked about this before, but I want to bring it back because it's, it's fall. It's a new year. It's fall time, winter time. It's cold outside, okay? It's cold. All oh, the weather outside is like, about to get frightful. Actually, up here, it's like 80 degrees. Yeah. It's like yeah. it's like 89 degrees. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jesus. All right, we know what that is. But okay, so the question the question is, y'all, and please join in on the live or you know, <laughs> Taisha's in in Jersey. She said it's it's, it's 80 up here. <laughs> so she, she hey, it's 80 up here. <laughs> um in the comments or join in live and and and, and let's talk about it how do y'all feel about wearing bonnets outside okay i'm bringing it back how do y'all okay. feel miss Toy? if you can write that in the comments how do y'all feel about wearing bonnets outside now we in the fall we in the winter we're the fall winter months is this just a summer thing that y'all don't like or is it just like period because now it's fall and winter okay we answering the door we going out real quick to the store it's cold okay i just Some put it in on. i just put it 
it in. Uh, she run MC. Oh, no, sorry, real active MC now. He said, Sharon MC says, absolutely not. I'm the key says, nope, leave the body at home. Get a hat. <laughs> get a hat. I'll get a real active now. Taisha, join in on the live and share your experience so we can send you some product. Yes. I'm not yucking anyone's yum, but it's far from me and my house. Okay. It's a no. I love that. Yucking anyone's yum. That's okay. a, that's a, I ain't never heard that yeah. before. And I like it. Can we also use it? Can we adopt we it? Must, yeah, we have to get some permission. <laughs> I'm a kid. Okay, so yes, love some Christy hair. It's a no for me. I'm sorry. I don't wear them outside. Um, I'm de um, de oh my gosh, Delia. Delia, yes, yeah, sorry. I am Delia Janie May Two Point Zero says I don't wear them outside, but to each his and her own. Yes. How do you feel about it? Have you to the no? So okay, listen, 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 listen. I'm good for wearing my body. I don't know where I have a bunch of them just everywhere, literally. I'm good for wearing my body outside, and I think people only have an issue with it if you're a woman, because I ain't never hear nobody or see nobody say nothing to me about having the bonnet on. And I don't do it on purpose. That's the funny thing. Mm -hmm. I typically don't ever leave my house without my hair being down. I don't even like wear my hair in a bun outside. Yeah. But I don't do it on purpose. It's so I forget I'm having it on yeah. that I'm just outside. And nobody ever says anything to me. Nobody ever looks away or crazy, anything like that. Yeah. But when it comes to women, I've seen women tap get tapped on the shoulder in the Target. Mm -hmm. Sis, you can't have that bonnet door. Let me help you out. And they take it off. Maybe like, let me fix you up. Let me. And I be like, is it really that's it? Like, what's the but what? It's, <laughs> a, it's, a perception, it's the perception of black women that makes it seem as if, like, if we wear bonnets outside, that you're uneducated, that you're ghetto, that there's something going on with you, that you don't have any sense to be out in society with your hair looking proper. And I think it also dates back to our ancestors and the, the women that came before us in our communities and in our families that made sure that when you go outside, certain people are going to look at you a certain way if you don't present yourself and make yourself look appropriate and presentable because they'll start treating you a certain type of way. And we all know what kind of way that was. So it's like, make sure you look good. Make sure this is at least what was in my family as well. Make sure your hair is done. Make sure you look good because how people how people perceive you is how they will treat you mm. and that mm -hmm. is what i had come up on and so that's why i was like i never went outside with like a bonnet my grandmother would be like no you're not leaving this house with curlers when we go to church it comes off right before you get outside like it was it was that kind of thing that at least in my family the, he says nope i tell my sons don't hold on don't oh this one is when y'all start moving <laughs> don't wear your do rags outside either. Oh, remember do rags? Goodness. Okay, so I like that. Don't wear your do rags outside either, even though dudes do, do be wearing do rags and people don't say nothing. Uh, someone says, now I would do a cute head wrap in place of a bonnet to make more of a fashion statement. Now, for me, it's no different. I ain't gonna hold you. If, if I see a head wrap, if I see a bonnet, I get this, sis, you don't want your hair to be seen. So, regardless, in my head, I'm like, she wanted to keep that, that you know, wrapped up. And it's, and if it's, I take, I, I I will wear a head wrap. I have I have a bunch of like little head, like you see, I have like this little band on. So I have a band like this that extends a little further back, so it looks like a head wrap, and it just put my hair um up underneath that. So I will re wear that outside too, and it looks like a style. But for me, I also wear it as a bonnet in my house, so it's no mm -hmm. different for me. It's, but for whatever reason, women don't like. Oh, they be so mad. Circumstances too, because when I got married last year, I had to transfer myself from the hotel to the venue, and you best believe I kept my rollers and my bonnet on. I'm sorry, it's circumstantial. You know what I mean? Like, are you getting married? Are you going to the supermarket, or are you running all the air? Like, I guess like to, this is my this is how I feel. It ain't none of my business. I don't even care why you're wearing a bonnet. I care why I'm wearing a bonnet. And that's all I care about. If you care about why I'm wearing a bonnet, what does Tab say? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's what it is. I'm trying to get the point. Am I back? Oh, you back? Yeah. Okay, because my 
My phone oh, is about to die. Um, but <laughs> Taisha said, just don't pair it with pajamas. Okay. Don't look, like you, don't look like you just rolled out of bed. Okay, so if the outfit is sickening and there's like a bonbon and whatever, but the outfit is fire, you're like, okay, I'm going to let you rock. But if you got pajamas on, flippy, you know, uh, footies, and you're out with your bonnet, it's like, go back in the house. Yes. <laughs> We read mentality of a goddess. She says, I do, and I don't care. I usually get asked where I get them from because they are cute designs. If I'm stepping out on errands, yes. But if some, if it's some serious business, no, I'm doing a head wrap. Okay? That, that's a good point. I love these different, like, perspectives because at the yeah. end of the day, like, do, do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you just said you you're smacking that gum. You smacking that gums out here. I ah. judge more for gum than bonnets. You know what's so funny? When I first joined, I said, oh my goodness, I should have took this gum out. But since I had already started, what was I going to do? Like, spit it out of my mouth. It's nasty. So I was like, I just going to get this little smack. And um, it's going, it's adding, it's adding to the character that I decided to be today. I'm 34. I'm from Jersey. Like, this is a character um, that I've decided to, to act like today. So I'm in character right now. This is not Tahir. This is Jasper. That you're witnessing, um, and Jasper pops gum. <laughs> yeah. gum. Yeah. Wait, see here. Okay, before we move on, I just want to show y'all. This is what I do in the winter months when I don't feel like doing my hair and I'm not throwing on the bonnet. I have these silk lined beanies. Oh, and I wear, them. and you can put it on your hair. I've got them in multiple colors honey okay because sometimes i feel like i have a vibe and i have different color jackets and so it matches the jackets and so when you put this on i mean i know i just did my hair but honestly like it really doesn't ma okay i'm not gonna do that it really doesn't mess it up it's just like putting on your bonnet but it's a hat and so one of one of our cousins had earlier said just wear a hat wear a hat that's also protective you can get this on our um you know on amazon and stuff but and, and i also bought some wigs i've never before. even heard of that that's amazing yes look yes said, now wait a and minute, I minute. She said, now wait a minute people are loving this uh oh yeah line, silk lines uh beanie <laughs> oh, okay yes because honestly like i have bought some wigs back in the day and it wasn't the right type of wig you know when you buy them from you think that they're the right ones but they come up cheap so i was like i don't want to throw these wigs away so what do i do i put on one of those wigs the ones that come over here and no lace front and i put on one of these silk line beanies and then i, I put the wig part to the side so it has like a little swoop and i go to the supermarket like i just got my hair done oh it's a vibe it's a vibe, it's a vibe. I might snatch that off your head you'll be like Listen, they better not snatch nothing off my head. I'm an orange belt in martial arts. Okay, I know some things. You got to be an orange belt in martial arts. I love that for you. Because were you... Mm -hmm. okay, let me show. Um, my work as a hairstyle must be at last five days or more because uh, I ain't got time. So a bonnet will be worse anytime my hair don't need to be exposed. I hear you. Can you imagine going to the... Ooh, can you imagine going to the store and the news up there catch you? <laughs> You imagine going to the store and the news catch you on the news with your bonnet? Absolutely yeah. not. Unless no, you sell them to get your beanie. money. Unless you sell them to get your money. See, look, it's always, but it's always a, unless. Because then my favorite meme is the lady in the yellow bonnet and somebody's going off on somebody and she's like, do you know what I'm talking about? That is the best vibe. I love that lady in your bonnet. Somebody's grandmother. Somebody's grandmother was in there giving okay, everything. She was <laughs> Ain't said a word. Her became famous. What we didn't even listen to nobody else was talking in the video. We was looking straight at her. Okay, I use it all the time, especially at work. When, I, when somebody makes a point that I've already made, I'm like, I put that meme right in Teams. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> y'all, the time is up. We've been talking for an hour. I cannot believe it. Time goes by so fast. It's 7 30, y'all. They about to kick us off of here in a minute. <laughs> y'all, we thank y'all so much for joining the Cousins Conversation. This is what Cousins Conversation is all about. And Taisha, has you joined in on a live? We would have sent you some, uh, some um, products, but you was too uh, scared. You worried about my gum when you should have been pressing that live request. But I love you. Damn. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all so much we enjoy you you guys so much every time we do this friday 6 30 p.m eastern listen next time bring a friend 
Next time, bring a friend. We give product away every single time. Yeah. All you got to do is join in the live. Imagine getting a fifteen dollar product for free. Okay, I'm just saying. Stuff get expensive. Okay. After this 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 beautiful jar of perfection is fifteen dollars. And when you ain't got it, sometimes you can just go on the live, join us in conversation, com converse with us. Yeah. And we can see this like so, um, you gotta tell a friend bring a friend with you like oh my goodness you gotta join in it's so much fun they having fun they yeah. you know we have conversation and we win products we have, we have an opportunity to get some things so yeah. don't come here next week by yourself okay come here <laughs> with a friend next time <laughs> They you know, like, which time we're going live and also when we uh also post who is going to be on cover cousins conversations um on the page and so you can actually share that to your to your friends and family exactly so make sure you don't forget you can always do the notification bell what have you uh love me some chrissy here so can you win multiple times yes you can win multiple times but it's a time span so about six months or so i believe it is it's a time span but this is the thing People who have joined in on the live before can join in again and do trivia, et cetera, but then they'll gift their win to somebody in the comments. Because sometimes people are too shy to go, come on or they may not feel their best at the time to come on live. So we get that. And so sometimes we'll have trivia in the comments or we'll allow people who've won before to gift someone else in the comments. So we all, we, it's all, we, listen, we love to give it away, honey. You know okay. why we love to give it away? Because it works. Because it works. It really does. It really when, does. When it when you cook something good at your house, if you were cook, you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna say this real quick before they kick us off this live. When you are a cook and you cook something really good in your house and you eat it, you be like, "Hello, what you what you doing? I got some beans. You need to come eat these beans because they are so good. You just want to share with somebody yeah. else. You just need somebody else to taste those beans because you like this is so good." Why? That's, why we, that's why we do cousin conversation because we need somebody else to try these products we know we know once you try once you get it you're gonna be like oh i'm going to this ultra beauty we're in all ultra beauties both lines the sweet potato pie line and the whipped vanilla cream line we're in all ultra beauties and we are in uh the sweet potato pie line is in select targets around the nation yeah and it's all available on donna's recipe.com ultra beauty.com target.com we out here accessible okay i'm always talking about some beans by the way but <laughs> we're out here and accessible i enjoy you <laughs> i enjoy y'all so much i we gotta go before they kick us off of here so i just want to say thank you so much i am ty here coleman register the owner of the black media i'm also a brand ambassador of donna's recipe and i'm floyd powell i'm an artist and an author and i'm also a brand ambassador of donna's recipe Thank you. All right, y'all. Thank you all for joining the Cousins Conversation. We will see you 6.30 p.m. Eastern on Friday. Okay. Peace, y'all.